you? So far, so good. <laughs> Is that a warning? It's, it's still early. early. Okay. It's still early. Hello. It's always early. You never know what can happen. <laughs> Next phase could be even get better. Gifts. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's a free <laughs> recorder. What do you like? You want to show the truth? You especially were quite mum about telling anything. So how careful do you have to be about people and fans about the cloud and what do you do? Well, you know, they said a lot of, about it, uh, about not knowing uh, exactly uh, what's going to happen next, and, and it's true, because uh, they don't want us uh, broadcasting what's, as you know, you know all the reasons, uh, but there are times on a set when you've got to know what you mean, because meaning is everything, and uh, you can ask one of the writers, uh, who's always on set, what do I mean by this, am I going to have antagonism with that one? Do I have a history with that one? Am I going to kill that one? You know, so you got to know where you're going, and the meaning is uh, is everything. So this, the 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 writers are always there on the set to answer a specific thing that you may need to know that doesn't give away more than they want to give away. So how do they hide the uh, seat? They just tell you at the last minute? They give you the script at the last minute to... Uh... No, no, no. And sometimes you don't know the secret, but you do know eventually, uh, if you ask, what do I mean when I'm saying this or mm -hmm. that? And they give you enough clues. For instance, the very first scene that I did, when I, uh, let's see, when I, at the bar, uh, and I don't want her to... Uh, she asked me about an old guard, and I said, yeah. this guy was a prick. Um, but... Uh, but, uh, and I didn't quite know what I was saying, so I asked the, the writers, and they said, yes, it's in this direction, and you're going to, and so they don't give you everything that you, everything there is to know, but they give you enough to know, so they so do not then later say something which an audience member will say, what the hell is he talking about? He knew that guy, and so forth. So they give you enough to... Uh, to keep the move, to keep the thing straight for an audience, their audience is their most important concern. Has there been much opportunity in the episode you shot to have your characters go through any sort of changes and growth? You know what I mean? Over the He's the guy Hello. that said a lot of that. <laughs> well, I think I think yeah. Well, we, we um, as as the show develops and as they are developing the show themselves, and are surprised by certain things that have happened, so they think, "Oh, that's great. Let's let's travel down this road a little bit." What happens is that your own character might have to be uh, uh, slightly remodeled uh, so that uh, so it could fit in. Um, so. That makes everything a real surprise for us, uh, and keeps it very interesting for us because we don't we don't repeat ourselves. Yeah. You're, yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're especially devious. I mean, the uh, on on the show, it's it's very hard to figure out what you, what your character is actually going. In. Do you even have an idea where your character is going? Yeah, I mean, I I, I I think I've been given enough clues from okay. the, the writers. So you've been uh, given clues then. I've been, well, I mean. <laughs> I, I, I mean from the writing and from very, very, very brief conversations I've had. I mean, I say conversations, answering a simple question with a simple answer. Uh, you kind of get the idea that you're, you're kind of heading down a, a rather dark road. So um, you kind of know where you're heading. Um, the beauty of it is that you don't know fully where you're going, so you don't know the full extent of how bad or how good or how interesting you are. I mean, um, you know, you only have that information, and that could just be that could become really quite magnificent, or you know. So I was kind of leaning into mine. Have there been any Chris. plot points that you really like connected to? That's like that's really central to my character. Like I know, like your character is always eating like the steaks in front of the inmates and stuff like that, and you're always at the bar. So you've got like a homestead. Is there a, a plot line that you really have identified with with your character that you can protect that girl? Mm -hmm. Get these guys out of there. Protect that girl. She is my she's my closest relative. As she decided to fall to uh, follow in my footsteps. She wants to be a cop. You really want to be a cop? Now you want to be a detective? Jeez, I don't know why you want that. And now she's involved with these idiots. And I don't like it. 
So uh, there were things that went on back there, and I know a little bit about it because I was there before before the event in 1963. But uh, I don't want her anywhere near it. So that's my that's your whole that's angle. my strength at the moment. Although. I understand from conversations with other cast members, they think I'm going to turn out to be the bad guy. No, they don't. I think, I think they're wrong. Isn't that correct? I have no idea. I'm not saying anything. Okay, there, well, have been conversations. there have been conversations. No, but these weren't were the writers. These were just no. speculations. I think this might be speculation that we don't know. It might go that way. Uh, I mean, the stuff that's really interesting to me is, um, I mean, I, the one central thing that I have, uh, that I... I, I uh, the joy is the joy that the, the warden has, mm -hmm. which is to always be messing with people. Right. That's the real joy he gets. Um, that's where he gets his jollies from. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so he likes to mess with the the, the, the inmates. He likes to mess with uh, E. B. Tiller. Mm -hmm. He likes to mess with everybody. And um, and so um, it was actually Sam Neill who actually said to, to me, "Just play everything like you're messing with people." And uh, that kind of cleared it. Cleared it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's giving me an absolute focus, which is great. Yeah. How about the great language they give you? You've got metaphors and uh, oh, yeah, I've got great language. Oh, this is good. I always like those. They say, <laughs> "What are they going to put in your mouth next?" I know, and sometimes I can't, I can't get my mouth around it sometimes because they're so uh, so fruity, so rich, and sometimes the sentences just go on for about four or five lines. And go, I don't know how I'm going to phrase this without sending people to sleep. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, so, uh, but um, but yeah, that was that was very much to do with Liz Sarnoff, who first uh, was the first showrunner on the show, and she used to write a lot of his language. And uh, I think they have something in the back of their minds about where exactly he's from, which they haven't actually divulged to me, but have sort of dangled carrots and things like that. Um, so that, 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 that gives me an idea of how, why the language is so fruity. He also thinks he's a bit of an intellectual anyway, and, uh, and uh, uh, an artist, an appreciator of the of finer things in life. So yeah, part of it comes from him himself, you know. We threw around the words uh, speculate before. There's a lot of speculation going on. I'm just wondering though, when you're working on a show where you have to kind of speculate and not telling this stuff, is that exciting in a creative way or is that like managing not knowing what the hell's going on? Well, it only manifests itself when you're on the set and say, what do I mean by this? <laughs> Let's make sure that it's correct, you know. Exactly. And it's like, it goes back to the other answer, which is it just keeps things interesting for the actors. If you're playing the bad guy or the cop that was absolutely set in his ways, that does things a certain sort of a way and never never deviates from that, I can see that it can get very boring very quickly. And, you know, that's why actors can get suicide. <laughs> <laughs> that's the reason. That's the reason they get, because they got bored. Uh, but, uh, but, but essentially, you know, for us, it's, it's kind of always interesting. It's always... There's a little change being introduced, you go, I never thought he could do something like that, but yeah, how would that character do something like that? Yeah, I can formulate it in my head, and, and it, I can make sense of it, and that's that's what makes it interesting for us as actors, you know. I mean, I have a, a whole thing with, um, in the last episode, with Clarence Montgomery, and, um, and uh, I thought, why am I being so nice to Clarence? I'm, you know, I'm kind of rotten to everybody else, so why am I so being so nice to Clarence? And given that there is this whole element in me that wants to mess with the, uh, with the inmates, part of me played it like, I'm going to mess with them, I'm going to mess against the blacks, against the whites. Um, but part of me thought, also thought, no, well, Clarence deserves a bit of a chance, you know, maybe, maybe I'll give him a, maybe I'll give him a little carrot, you know, so there's always that element, that, just, that feeds into your delivery and makes it complex. You couldn't decide if you were being benevolent, like because of the tone of the times? Yeah. And then it just exploded and I was like, okay, well, what, is he a bad guy? Is he a good guy? That's what keeps it interesting. Is it, That's what, what keeps it? it interesting. That's what keeps it interesting. And also, you know, we, when we say bad guy, just because things develop in episode 11, 12, and 13, that you go, baddie, yep. <laughs> you know, you don't know that he isn't doing it for a better cause. Right, and it's both of your characters have such interesting shades of gray. Um, you know, Ray's got that shady past where it seemed he wasn't quite telling the truth. At the, at the same time, it's for the good reason. 
the, do the ends justify the means? It's almost the same with the warden. Do, the, do his ends justify the means? Is he actually messing with them?